Ross is going to try the chainsaw for the first time. Here's our new chainsaw, steel brand. So we'll try this on the tree because we're going to chop the trees. That somewhere, though. And that's good. Then you have oil in. So that's good to go. Is this your first time? It is with this saw. Ah. It's been a long time since I've used one. Ross is doing the chainsaw for the first time, he said, after so many years. And here's the helper, Sion, the helper. Don't go near her. Huh? So this chainsaw isn't cutting at all. You saw what I tried to do there. I suspect, looking at it, that the chain is the wrong way around because I'm fairly sure that's the depth gauge and that's the cutter. The depth gauge should be running first, I think. I'm not an expert on this at all, but... That way. I think we'll make a difference. So, like that. And then that goes over the sprocket like that. I think that's it. This goes back over. <laughs> we'll try it for the second time. That's working finally. I think I'm supposed to go up that way. Ah. Well, there's a couple of ways. One, the original way is go that way and in. But I've seen some that go up that way and up that way, and that would have that would have come down. So, and it's sort of stuck in the other tree as well. Back it, back. You're first to cut the tree. One down. Change so stuck on the tree, so they need to do something. Look at the chainsaw. Maybe or two, I guess. We've stuck the chainsaw. Someone misjudged how far the top of this tree was leaning over because the bottom was leaning this way a little bit. And I thought, I oh, will cut it. And the other one worked. I only got about well that far into the tree, and it's the weight has got the saw stuck. So we're not going anywhere with the chainsaw. 
So we thought, all right, what do we do? So we tied on up the top there to pull it. We had that on to start with. We tightened that and we've got through two carabiners, so we've got some leverage. And we cut off this little limb over this way. Our, our problem is we've got a power line to the neighbour runs right through here. And it's Friday afternoon, we really don't want to cut off their electricity on a Friday afternoon. That would be just not very good at all. Um, so we've cut that one off. We've cut off a little branch here. And now we've managed to throw the rope over and we've hit that there. Now I'm hoping that what that'll do will provide a hinge for that. But once we cut this one off, it will drop down and this is going to drop back in. Now, Ness needs to be very careful as soon as that starts to make a creek. We've got to get out of there. In fact, we'll do it from the ground once you get through a certain way. This is the dangerous bit. Because I'm hoping that once we get that one out, then we can put the pressure on this. We might have to cut through with this saw in the bottom as well. I should have done this first. <laughs> That'll be a lesson. We should have gone to the trouble of setting up these ropes and cut this, got rid of this one, and then dealt with the other one. Watch out, mate. Tao. Baby, watch out, someone is coming. The black is over there. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. 